Hello, my YouTube friend. It's Pop Comics, and today we're going to dig through this short box of comic books. This box comes from a guy who inherited a whole room full of collectibles, and he's going to be bringing in a box or two at a time of all his comic books. And this box is a 90s, like, speculator box that some of the stuff is amazing and a lot of it's junk. But the amazing stuff is as best as you can get if you want to get the best comics from the 90s. All right, let's dig through this box. I'm just going to pull out a few at a time so you can kind of see what's in here. We can look at it together. I just briefly looked at it and it was a lot of stuff like this at first. So I was telling them, you know, this kind of stuff, I usually only pay maybe 10 cents, 25 cents a piece. Uh, it's in good shape though. This is definitely a guy that was buying comics thinking they might have value in the 90s. So we got that, we got a uh, Ghost Rider, Warlock, that's kind of cool. Not really valuable, but cool. Dark Hawk, Annual number one. Wolverine Save the Tiger number one with a beautiful Sam Keith cover. Love that cover. Lobo's back two. Shadow of the Bat two. Penguin Triumphant, two copies of that. So there's gonna be a lot of duplicates. Okay, stack number two. We got Catwoman Defiant. A couple of those. Cops of the Job. I don't know I don't know if there's any value in that stuff. Uh, Punisher War Journal number five. Punisher Summer Special number two. Cage number five. Tarzan the Warrior number one. Tarzan the Warrior number two. X Men number ten. X Force number twelve. Ghost Rider 28, so he's buying a couple of these, speculating that the bagged ones would be worth something. I don't think they are, but someone might want to pay a couple bucks for them. So yeah, <laughs> oh, there's a 10 of those in there. So in this case, that kind of failed. Uh, Web of Spider-Man number 90, I don't think it has a ton of value, but people do kind of like the holographic ones. So I should be able to get a couple bucks out of that. Maybe four bucks, maybe two, not sure off the top of my head, but. Okay. okay. All right, we got one more stack here. Right, let me fix the box so they don't fall over. Okay, uh, more of these web of Spider-Man. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so he was just expecting these to be worth something one day. Not really, maybe four bucks. But they'll sell well, because people like that stuff. It's still kind of fun to get. Cage number five, Infinity War number two, Punisher number five, Lobo's back number two again. A couple of those. Okay, this next stack is kind of the stack that had value. Some of the value. So again, going through and then I found the next stack after this comic book. I told him, you know what, that has value. It used to be I used to buy collections like this and I'd pay like a dime a piece. But now I think a lot of these are $20 plus comic books. Not this one, the next one. Spawn number one. And they are in great shape. So this is a 9.8 candidate. So it might be worth grading them. We got one, two, three, sadly no newsstands, but four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got 10 spawn number ones, all in really nice shape. So that's pretty cool. That's good value wise. Dark Hawk. Number one, the annual number one again, Guardians of the Galaxy 25. You know, it's a gimmick cover, but I still kind of love it. Number 25, a couple of those. Oh, another one in there. So we got three of those. Okay. All right, let's grab another stack. New Warriors 25. You know, again, he was buying multiples of anything he thought might have value one day. Shadow of the Bat, a couple of those. Captain America Adventures. Uh, Hulk 393, I kind of love this one. You know, again, it's a gimmick, but it's a homage to a first appearance, so that's cool. Uh, some Wizard Magazines, these are actually kind of cool. I think there's a little bit of collectability to those. And he bought multiples of those for some reason. I guess because it had the spawn card, which maybe the cards are worth something. <laughs> Today's day and time, this stuff is becoming valuable. All right, Ghost Rider, or the original Ghost Rider, number one. Number two, a couple of those. Spectacular Spider-Man 189. Unity, Cops of the Job, number one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put these back in the box and grab behind it. Okay, the original Ghost Rider number one. So he had multiples of those. Ghost Rider 25, Infinity War number one. A couple of those. Oh, okay. Second appearance of Carnage. 
looks in really high grade. So that's, you know, another semi key. Infinity War number one. That one looks like he actually read it because it has a fingerprint smear on there. Uh, okay, Spectacular Spider-Man 189. More holographic speculation for those. Uh, Marvel Quarterly Report. Spider-Man number one. That's cool. I like those. I mean, uh, I mean, if I got graded, if it was a 9.8, it looks pretty high grade. But I'm not going to grade that. Uh, all right, Spider-Man Saga number one. Three of those. Number two. Deadly Foes of Spider-Man, number one, two of those, and number two. Okay, and then the final stack from this box has the one big key issue that has some value. And that's the first appearance of Carnage. Uh, you know, this has a chance to be a 9.8 because I don't see any damage. I have to look out of, out of the bag, but still, that's a great comic book. Uh, Silver Silver 1, I think, has a little bit of value. There's two of those. Number two couple of those, Eternal Warrior number one, a couple of those, Archer and Armstrong number one, a couple of those, uh, let's see, Sting of the Green Hornet number one, that's a cool cover, a couple of those, Terra Inc. number one, three of those, <laughs> Lobo's Back number one, so since he had stuff like this, I'm kind of hoping that as I get more and more boxes from him, some of the stuff goes back into the late 80s because it'd be cool to see like a stack of Amazing Spider-Man 300 or New Mutants 98. I don't know. I don't know if he only bought in the 90s. He doesn't know either. The guy selling it to me does not know what's in the house. He's just bringing me stuff as he digs through it. It's a treasure hunt right now. All right, Della Foes of Spider-Man number three and Youngblood number one, a couple copies. All right, so nothing super spectacular. A couple, well, you know, a couple cool key issues. First Carnage is really awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please watch it twice. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the description. Share it and do all that stuff so that we can get this channel big enough so I can live stream and do longer, better comic book videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!